In this video, we're going to look at seven ways the pros finish writing a song. Hi, I'm Tony from Songwriters Chop Shop. But John gave me a handy tip <laughs> once, which is once you start to write a song, try and finish it straight away while you're in the mood. <clears throat> and I've That's learned from experience, yeah, because you go back to it and then you're in a whole different state of mind and it's more difficult. Sometimes it's easier, but... On the whole, it's more difficult to come back to something, so I do now try and finish them straight away. And to be fair, most of the song is written, but a song's not done. It's like when you have everything but the one line in the second verse. It's nothing unless it's all right. If, if you have, if you have 95% of a song, you have 0% of a finished song. I enjoyed the pressure of having to have something, and when you have to have something, you kind of get to your point. I always feel at my best when I'm not in my comfort zone. So I, I used to lock myself outside in New York on the terrace in the window with a cup of coffee and say I would not go in until I finished the lyric. <laughs> it was pretty grim out there. It worked. It actually worked. I mean, there's no any one method of doing it. If there was a button to press where I'd get a, a banana like a monkey, but the <laughs> button keeps moving. Or the button keeps changing shape or its location. So you never quite know where it is. You just have to be in a state of openness for stuff to come through. And again, it's kind of mysterious and I don't really understand it. Oftentimes when we're making a song, it's like a very short start to finish process like we write everything in a day or two we record it over the next like week or two this song was like each time we went to write we were recording while we went but it was several days over the course of like seven or eight months um to get each individual part so literally that day like all that we got was that what the hell are you talking about <laughs> get my pretty name out of your mouth we well, are not the same with or without that was it. And then the next time we went to revisit it, we wrote this. Don't talk about me like how you might know how I feel. Top of the world, but your world isn't real. <laughs> it was an idea. Because we wrote this song over the course of so many different days, we, each time we'd sort of have to like re-inspire ourselves. And I think that's sort of like a lesson I'm learning more and more in producing songs is like what you're capable of writing over what. When I first started, I was like exclusively like a songwriter and then a producer where I would sit at a piano and write a song. And then I would migrate to, you know, a, a DAW and record the vocals and record the piano and maybe add some drums or some bass. As time goes on, there are totally songs that we write that way. Billy has a song called My Future that we wrote that way where we just sat at an instrument and played the chords and then ended up ingesting it into the system. In a case like this, like there are just things about the songwriting that would never have been true if we had just sort of tried to write it on an acoustic guitar first. So it was super advantageous to start with the sort of rhythmic components of it. You view it as a dirty tap. When you switch a dirty tap on, it's gonna flow shit water out for a substantial amount of time and then clean water is going to start flowing and now and then you'll get a bit of shit, but as long as it gets out of you it's fine <laughs> so with songs you're going to write shit songs at the beginning you are my songs were terrible my raps were terrible like i've listened to it the other day it's awful but i got it out of me and the more and more you write the more and more you experience and then you start flowing clean water and songs start getting better and better and better and when you just you're on a good streak you're writing good songs now and then you're going to write a shit song and that song is out of you and you can move on. With songwriting, it's just how you feel at the time. It's whatever, whatever is on your mind. And like, what I've learned about writer's block is it, it doesn't actually exist. You should just not push it. If you're trying to write a song and you can't, you shouldn't just, just, just try and write it because then the block will happen and then in your head you'll think, oh, I've got writer's block now. So what I do when I can't write a song is I just put a guitar down and go and do something else for about a couple of weeks and then come back and then I'll be able to write a song. So it's like matching socks. One sock is the music, one sock is the lyric, and not just the lyric, but the lyric and the concept, right? Which is, I guess, still the lyric. Words and music. Uh, music is very easy to come up with. Words are harder to come up with. And coming up with words and music that match each other are very, very difficult. And in fact, it's so difficult that even if, like, I'm writing music these these last weeks i'm just a writer right now i'm just sitting and writing and i wrote a really good song two weeks ago what i think is a really like a plus song 
And as soon as you're done with the A plus song, you once again know nothing about it. You once again know nothing about writing. At the beginning of every song, you don't know anything. You're a baby, you're an infant. And for me, it is like being reincarnated every time as an infant. What is this song? Is this anything? So it's a, it's a very mathematical process actually of taking an idea, comparing it against, so taking a musical idea, comparing it with a, a, with a verbal idea, a lyrical idea. And you keep going and you keep going and you're going, that doesn't sound right. That, that, and then at some point you either have written something you sing or a lot of times I'll just blurt something out and I'll go, oh, that's a thing. And we just wait, you just wait and wait and wait. So the song, the, for me, songwriting is I can always play music and I can always write lyrics, but to find the stuff that goes together and really, when the, when the music sounds like the lyrics and the music and lyrics together sound like the idea and the music and the lyrics and the idea sound like the singer, then you got a song, you know? And I have been spending the last, I'm gonna let you in, I am a student forever. I've been trying all week, it's Thursday. I've been trying since Monday to write a song. Do you know how many songs I've gone through and ditched? Maybe eight, maybe eight. And I ditched them because the line that the song, that the chorus was supposed to end on wasn't good enough. I'd taken people on a trip and then I threw them out of the car right before I was, they were about to get to Disneyland. And just throw it out and try one or keep editing or keep working with it because I'm just going for the stuff that sounds believable. The only thing that matters to me is that if I'm gonna do a song and it's me singing, oh, now it's singing, and this is the line that it's ending on, sounds like me. And, if it's, and it's gotta be interesting. And just like there's color in music, there's color in lyrics. And if you have a really mu colorful sounding you know, track and then your words are not really colorful, then it's not a great song. So we're just basically waiting for magic to happen just slugging away till magic happens. And then we take credit for it. It's finishing a song too soon. Sometimes a song, it's not the time for a song and a song always remains unfinished until the moment that it's finished.